Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about how if you plan on getting Grand Theft Auto 5 for the Xbox Series X, you're going to be looking at some good news. And also, if you're a fan of Rockstar titles, if you get the PS5, how you might run into a little bit of bad news as well. So we are just days away from both of these next generation systems coming out. And so because of that, a lot of media and journalists have gotten their hands on these new systems early. And they've been able to test out pretty much any game they wanted to. And a handful have actually tried this with Grand Theft Auto V. So as we patiently continue to wait for Rockstar to announce new details of their own for the anticipated port of GTA V for Xbox Series X, S, and PS5, some details have emerged of the game from the Xbox One version running on backwards compatibility. So that's important to note here because what we're talking about is not the new expanded and enhanced version. This is just on day one, if you get an Xbox One and you wanna play GTA V, this is what your experience is going to be like and how it's going to be improved versus the current system. So Microsoft recently sent out many review units to a huge number of media outlets, like I discussed earlier within the past month. And Jez Corden, who is an editor at Windows Central, reported on Twitter that GTA 5 benefits from loading improvements on Xbox Series X by playing the Xbox One version on backwards compatibility. He says the game loading can take up to less than 10 seconds to load right into story mode. Though while there are no reports of loading times in Grand Theft Auto Online right now, we can assume that it will also benefit from faster loading but that will likely depend on if your internet connection is fast enough to find a host as GTA Online heavily relies on peer-to-peer -peer connection. So this is what he said specifically, for those asking me if GTA 5 gets any benefits on Xbox Series X, the answer is no, it's locked at 30 FPS. Don't forget, Rockstar made a lot of money selling that game twice at the start of last gen. And as people have noted, Rockstar already announced next gen enhanced versions of GTA 5 separately. However, it does benefit from loading, of course, as does every single game, and it got down to about 10 seconds into the campaign. That is incredibly impressive because that's one of the biggest issues with GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto Online, the loading, getting stuck in the cloud simulator. And as each edition of the game has come out from Xbox 360 to PS3 to Xbox One to PS4, so on and so on, the loading has gotten better, and it seems like this jump to at least the new Xbox is ridiculously fast. And we can actually take a look at this in action to see just how fast something like this occurs. So this video is coming from the guys on rockstarintel.com and GTA Online News on Twitter. I'll be sure to leave a link to their stuff in the description. And let's just take a look at how fast you're able to load into GTA 5 single player. So that was ridiculously quick. Like once you get past all like the Rockstar loading stuff and like the things they have to show you on the screen, it literally takes like 10 seconds until you're in the game and you're playing everything. That is super impressive. So now we know that it's finally confirmed the current generation versions of GTA 5 from Xbox One and of course the PS4 version will be playable on both the next generation machines while Rockstar continues to develop their upcoming new enhanced port for the second half of 2021. And plus, everyone who plans on buying the systems can still enjoy the next major set of updates for GTA Online, set for a release sometime this year and very likely early on in 2021. We haven't heard any new details from Rockstar on that, and we haven't heard any new details from Rockstar in the expanded and enhanced version since they originally talked about it 
back in June. So GTA 5 loads ridiculously fast. It looks like it's able to take really full advantage of the Xbox Series X. And again, keep in mind that is just the backwards compatibility version of the game. We're bound to get a ton more improvements on the expanded and enhanced version that is specifically going to be made for the PS5 and Xbox Series X. So just something to keep in mind right there. Now, the other bit of next generation console news regarding Rockstar that we have to talk about today actually regards the PS5. So this comes from Video Tech on Twitter, who said this, little important PSA for anyone that owns the Rockstar Games collections or the following PS2 classics for PS4 games. Canis Canem Edit, Max Payne, Warriors, Red Dead Revolver, and Manhunt. Sony warns these titles may exhibit errors on PS5, issues are expected to emerge. Where they say, when playing on PS5, this game may exhibit errors or unexpected behavior, and some features available on PS4 may be absent. To play this game on PS5, your system may need to be updated to the latest system software. So if you have those classic Rockstar titles, you may run into some issues. Although a bit of good news, it looks like all GTA titles and Bully from PS2 Classics on PS4 are unaffected. So this would include Red Dead Redemption 2 on PS4 and GTA 5 on PS4. With it saying, to play this game on PS5, your system may need to be updated to the latest system software. Although this game is playable on PS5, some features available on PS4 may be absent. So a really similar message right there, but most of the GTA, but all the GTA titles, Red Dead Redemption 2, those are safe. You're not going to have any issues when trying to play them on the PlayStation 5. So overall, I think this is really exciting news that we're getting from Microsoft and Xbox. And also just a, an important thing to know if you guys are going to end up playing on the PS5 or on Sony's side. So I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think of this info that we discussed in this video today that GTA 5, while even playing the Xbox One version on the Xbox Series X, gets a significant upgrade in terms of loading times, which is one of the things that Rockstar and GTA has struggled with. I mean, you would take like 30 seconds to a minute just to load into the game, and that can obviously be pretty frustrating. So I would, of course, love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Again, let me know what you think about everything we discussed in this video today and a whole lot more. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.